name's Dawn. I'd like to introduce you to my four-day trip to Cairo, Egypt, to see the pyramids of Giza. The three pyramids of Giza are located in a national park, and the city of Cairo extends right to the borders of that park. Where the borders begin, you see desert. Here is my traveling companion Richard on a camel. Renting camels is still a business, though not as big a one as in the past. In the distance lies the suburbs of Cairo. As you can see, the landscape is totally barren surrounding the pyramids. One can drive by the pyramids in your car within 20 or 30 meters. We rented a car and driver for the day. Here's our driver with me sitting in the car, sitting at the public car park for viewing the pyramids. We're up on a, quite a hill, so we get a good view. Here's a picture of the three pyramids with Richard cautiously peering over my shoulder. This is a museum next to the pyramids. I didn't go in, but I think it contains a ship or barge from the Nile River. Now we're getting much closer to a pyramid. In the foreground, you can see the large limestone blocks that were used to construct the pyramid. At one time, the pyramids were covered with a marble capping, but this has been removed for building purposes. Only a bit of marble remains at the very peak, as you can see. Here, tourists are lining up to pay to visit a tomb. The entrance to the tomb is located right at the bottom next to the ticket shed. This is a much better view of tourists entering the tomb. You can also see the large blocks that were used to construct the pyramid. Here's a close-up photo of the pyramids. You can see it would not be easy work climbing the pyramids from one limestone block to the next. Here is the Sphinx that guards the entrance to the pyramids. I thought it would be a large carving, but actually it's very small. Thanks viewer for joining Richard and myself on our brief visit to the pyramids of Giza in Cairo, Egypt.